Recently, This is America and the World has been looking at the special bond between the United States and Japan. On this program, we'll learn how important both countries are to each other and see how this close relationship plays out. It's the unique partnership between Japan's Kawasaki Heavy Industries and America's Boeing, one of the largest airplane manufacturers in the world. To appreciate Japan's trade and investment relationship with America, we spoke with Japan's newly appointed ambassador to the United States. He's just arrived in Washington after recently serving as Japan's vice foreign minister in Tokyo. At this point of time, to say the least, I think uh, U.S.-Japan relations are uh, at a very, very high moment. Not far from the Japanese embassy in Washington is the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. The vice president for Asia for the International Affairs Division at the Chamber offers an overview of Japan's importance to the United States. I think we find that there are mutually beneficial opportunities and ways that we work together to support our growth in, in both the U.S. economy but for the Japanese as well. A great example of Japan and the United States coming together is the collaboration between the U.S. company Boeing and the Japanese company Kawasaki Heavy Industries. The companies, which have been working together for more than 40 years, have partnered to create the state-of-the-art 787 Dreamliner planes. Twelve years ago, we started the 787 program, and the product is over there, Whoa. composite. One piece, barrel, fuselage. Kawasaki ships its made in Japan fuselage to Boeing in the states of South Carolina and Washington. We paid a visit to Charleston where I spoke with Brian Baird who heads up Boeing's relationship with its many part suppliers. Kawasaki Heavy Industries on 787, um, they are an incredible partner. Their engineers collaborated with our engineers in the early days to design this very fuel efficient airplane that we have today. 